Welcome back to week two of our build series. If you watched last week's video, you saw us put in our subflooring, insulation, furring strips, and running our wiring. And this week, I don't know exactly what we're doing. <laughs> we kind of take things day by day. So this is day one of week two. We're gonna show you what we've been working on today. So this morning I cut out this uh, template out of a uh, spare piece of quarter inch ply that we had. Uh, we're putting a full wall of uh, quarter inch ply across the garage space. Uh, so we wanted to cut this template out so it sits flush with the, uh, the wheel well. So when we put it all in and fill everything with like silicone or something it'll look really nice. So now that we have our template we could use this on both sides of the wall and we're going to go cut this out. <laughs> I'm gonna go cut this out on a full sheet. <laughs> okay, so we have this panel basically dry fitted to like my pointer. <laughs> um, so I think Joey explained, but this is basically gonna be the panel in the garage area. But this is actually three millimeter ply. We had a conversation about whether we were going to build uh, the supports for the fixed bed here behind this wall, and then put the panel on to have like a seamless wall in the garage, or if we wanted to do them on top. Uh, we ultimately decided that we we're going to be putting supports over this wall. So I'm going to use this as an example. We're actually going to be using two by threes. This is just a little two by two scrap piece. Okay, we're going to have supports like this um, all across for the bed. And then there's going to be another two by three that sits on top here and then supports that go across. Uh, the reason that we decided to not put these behind this wall is because you'll notice that you'd be taking up another two inches. So even though there will be these doodads here, <laughs> you can still fit something slightly longer in between them if you had to. And honestly, every part of storage that you can maximize in the van is important. Uh, so it made sense to do this rather than pushing this entire wall out another two inches. So we're also gonna have a couple of outlets in the garage and definitely some lights and a switch. Um, so one of the outlets is going to be on this wall and that's actually where the water heater is going to plug in because it is a 120 volt water heater. Um, and then we're going to have another outlet over there that can be used for anything, It'll just be an open outlet. So we do need to plan where those are going to be and then actually cut those out of this wall before we put it up because it's going to be a lot harder to try to get the jigsaw in there and cut out a little square once this wall is already up. So it's just temporarily up here. We only got two screws in here so we can take it out. As you guys can see, we've got our little outlet hole right here. Um, so before we secure this wall in, we are gonna make sure to run our wire behind this wall and come out here so that we'll have easy access to it later. What's up guys? It is another day and we ended up calling yesterday a little bit short, um, it was hot out. And so we went and took a lunch break and then we did a little bit after that, but not a whole lot. So we cut out um, some of the beams that are gonna be part of the bed frame over there um, and this morning we just got this wall officially in um, so yeah that's what we've done so far and then I think we're actually gonna start putting these beams up on this side and then we're gonna have to come over to this wall and work out all the cuts for that one and where all the wires are gonna come through something that we're doing in this van that we did not do in ours is uh, we're actually gonna bring this panel all the way up obviously it's gonna act as a, a panel in the garage to cover up all the insulation and furring strips back here uh, but we are going to bring it up here and we're going to be putting shiplap on top of it. Uh, but the reason that we're putting this panel up is because we're going to actually glue the shiplap to this and uh, nail or not nail it. We're actually going to screw it into these beams with these uh, trim head screws. The reason we're doing that is because we have had issues with our shiplap. We nailed it uh, directly into studs. We didn't nail it. <laughs> we did not. <laughs> that took me a minute. <laughs> 
uh, we just nailed it in and the problem is that those nails don't really have any bite and they're just not ideal for uh, something that is moving all the time so our shiplap is kind of wiggled out and we can't really get it back in so our wall is kind of flimsy like you can you can push it and uh, the they kind of will separate it's not good so we are avoiding that on this van and we're gonna be screwing it and gluing it in to this so Kenzie's out running some errands. I'm gonna keep working on these little things before we start building the bed. Uh, we are gonna be seeing these two by three, so I'm gonna give them a quick sand so they look nice uh, under the under the uh, garage area. Joey has been working on uh, getting all the beams for the bed frame sanded down because um, they are gonna be painted, and so we didn't want them to look super rough uh, once we painted them. Here's some of the beams that Joey sanded earlier and I painted them this morning. We're just doing like a slate gray color for the garage. So I also painted the part of the wall that will be in the garage. The rest of it is gonna be covered by shiplap so there is really no reason to waste paint on that. Um, these are just chilling here, they're not in yet. But you can get an idea for, whoa, oh, dominoes. As for the flooring in the garage, um, we were planning on doing just like a uh, like a rubberized kind of vinyl flooring and the van actually came with something like that. So this is the, the underside of the rubber mat. I've been tearing up all the uh, sound deadening insulation underneath. Uh, but the other side is this nice durable rubber flooring. So we're actually going to uh, cut this up and reuse it for the actual whole flooring in the van. Just kidding. Oops. That <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were saying. No, I'm no th just the garage. Don't mind the mess because we are still working around in here, but we have secured all those beams in. Uh, so these here are two by threes, and then we have a two by two on top. Um, so these are secured into our furring strip studs that we have here, and they basically line up with those. And this beam on top has a screw going through here, through the stud, and then down here into this stud here. Um, so we have three beams going across here for a lot of extra support and then this extends out here to the end of the bed and this is secured into another stud over here and then there'll be even more support because there's going to be a back wall here. Just cut out the first cross support that's going to go underneath the bed. So we're going to have five or six of these every foot or so. We're going to still figure out how many we actually need. Uh, but setting this first one in here this seems actually really sturdy like I'm, I'm putting a lot of my weight on it and it's only flexing a tiny bit so once we put another half inch ply on top of everything and screw everything in and make everything rigid it should be a really sturdy bed yeah all the weight will be distributed better once we have yeah. more beams and plywood across so this should not be going anywhere now that we have all of the beams cut out you can kind of visualize what the bed is going to look like about how tall it's going to be um, these are also going to be sanded and painted. And we're actually thinking that we might not put these in until uh, later in the build. We'll get them all prepped and ready to go. Um, but it's going to be a lot easier for us to get around and work in here without them in there. It'll be super easy just to screw them in near the end. So I think we might do that. Joey uh, is going to test things out. <laughs> so we grabbed a scrap, oh, be careful, scrap piece of whoa, plywood. I'm gonna test out the sturdiness of this. We're not using this. No. What do you think? I like it. Is it sturdy or does it need more beams? It's sturdy as heck. <laughs> not moving at all. Well, maybe a little bit. <laughs> 
I think once we put it back and uh, screw everything down, it might be a little more sturdy. These are also not screwed in right now, so I think it'll help when there's a bigger piece of plywood on here mm -hmm. to distribute the weight. A little bit thicker, and I think we might add one or two more. I think you could supports. use probably one more, but we'll see. exciting though. Well, I feel like we got a lot done today. I'm pretty happy with the progress. What are you doing? <laughs> we are going to call it a day, and there's a couple things that we still need to do on the bed frame, um, but we're tired, so we're gonna pick it up tomorrow, and we'll catch you guys in the morning. Hello again. Welcome back to another day of watching us slave away on this build. Um, today, we are actually going to be working on getting the shower all framed out. So we took the last couple of days off because we were waiting on some things. One of those things being the shower pan. And we really didn't want to start building uh, the shower until the shower pan actually got here. But anyway, we actually have all those things now. Everything we need to get started. Um, so we have already started a little bit today. So I will go ahead and show you guys how much we've accomplished so far. Our shower shower pan shower pan shower pan just got here so we set it in place we're building these supports around the shower so it can be tiled and uh, block off the this side of the shower between the shower and the closet and so we're gonna run piping through it and everything what we've been doing is this is gonna be our partition wall right here so we set up these two by threes we're putting some cross supports on so when we tile on here as well it's super rigid and none of the tiles are gonna fall off once we finish that we're gonna move over to here start building a wall here and then we got to figure out our ceiling we ran out of lumber yesterday so we made the billionth home depot run <laughs> so we can get some more two by three so we could finish framing out this uh, bathroom area um we yesterday we were working on this wall we got everything pretty secured in this wall is really sturdy working on this wall uh, taking our time making sure everything is properly braced and completely square one of the problems we're running into uh, on this side of the wall is we don't really have a rib to screw this wall into so we're kind of frame rib fr yeah ribbing on the ceiling to screw into so we're kind of having to make our own braces on this wall up here straight down this guy isn't in yet but it's already fairly sturdy so there's also going to be like the ceiling that we yeah. can brace it to yeah. which will be screwed into this rib yep so we're yep. having to figure out how to reinforce this really well without having something to directly screw into right here mm -hmm. Board of 175 pounds. That's a win. Week two is coming to an end and we got some big things done. We got yep. the bed frame, the shower frame almost done, and the partition wall frame almost done. Started. Started, yep. yeah. So yeah. if you guys tune in next week, you will get to see us finish up the shower. I'm probably gonna start running plumbing for the shower and definitely build a partition wall and we'll see if we can get anything else done but i think that that's definitely our goal for next week mm -hmm. so if you're interested in those things make sure to uh tune back in next week tune in to the next episode <laughs> also just wanted to say a quick thank you we've gotten so many amazing comments from you guys lots of support and also lots of good questions that we're going to definitely try and address in these videos <laughs> but we really appreciate you guys for watching and for supporting us in all of this thank you guys for watching we really appreciate it um, if you're not already subscribed we would really appreciate if you do that don't forget to like and comment and if you don't want to miss next week next week's video make sure to hit the bell turn on your notifications and we'll see you next week